In this lesson, moving forward, I'm going to demonstrate how to install JavaFX within the Eclipse editor. Now we know that JavaFX is simply a set of graphics and media packages that enable developers to design, create, and you can test, debug, and eventually deploy client applications that operate consistently across diverse platform. So it's a powerful tool that we can use in addition to the AWT and Java Swing. So JavaFX is simply a Java library that consists of classes and interfaces that are written in Java code. So let's jump right in. Let's navigate to the first to the Eclipse editor and then I'm going to demonstrate how to go about and downloading and installing the JavaFX. So let's open the Eclipse editor. So once I'm in the Eclipse editor, notice at this point, it doesn't really give me any options. So even if I were to navigate to any of these menus, I don't see the option called JavaFX. And that's fine because we would need to install the FX from the Eclipse website, for instance. So here, let's first navigate to my browser. And I'm going to show you where to go, which URL to navigate to so that you can download and make sure you have the prerequisites first. So I'm going to switch to my browser. Perfect. So once I'm in my browser, notice this is the URL that you need to navigate to. So it's eclipse.org forward slash efxclips forward slash index.html. So once you're on this page, you can always Google it, of course, and just type efxclips, something like that, or JavaFX tools for Eclipse, it will eventually get you to this particular page. Once you're on this page, it just shows you details about what the JavaFX tool is all about. So for instance, the tooling one time and the platforms that you can install this tool on, and then also gives you details as I scroll down. And one of the tooling details that I like to specify that I also mentioned in my previous lesson was the CSS. So almost all IDs provide a CSS editor, but this editor only knows the attributes used inside the HTML browser applications. Now with JavaFX, which contains the specialized CSS editor and knows the CSS properties that are used by JavaFX, authoring CSS files for the project, and it's really simple to do that. Similarly, there are other tools that are also available that you can take a look at. So let's scroll up within this page. On the menu, it says install. So this is where you need to first click. Let's go ahead and click on install. And this will take us to the page and also shows us the prerequisites. So it's important to know the prerequisites. Simple prereq, you'll need to at least have the JDK 8 installed on your system. So make sure your JavaFX installation uses the JDK when you launch your Eclipse instance. So that's all there is to it. And if you have the current version of Eclipse, this is installed as well. And next we can choose to download and install. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the view details. And this gives us the step by step instructions as to how to install within Eclipse. So first, we need to add an update site within our Eclipse editor. So let's go ahead and first navigate and see the steps before I actually do the installation. So the first step essentially is just download the latest Eclipse 4.6 SDK. The second step is to open up your Eclipse editor if you have not done so already. Step number three is the extension for the Eclipse editor. We simply navigate to the help menu and there's an option called install new software. So we'll choose that once we actually do the installation. And of course, the fourth step is important because this is where you would get your address from. In other words, once we get to the installation part, we need to add a repository. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Just copy the URL, control C on your keyboard or right click and copy. And then of course, step five is just simply selecting the different features. And then step six is finishing the install. So really a simple step by step procedure, but you need to understand that we need the repository before we can install JavaFX in Eclipse. 
So you need to make sure you copy this URL. All right, great. So once we have the prerequisites met and we took a look at different steps, let's navigate back to the Eclipse editor. Perfect. So within the help menu, once I'm in the Eclipse editor, I'm going to go ahead and click on install new software. As soon as I do this, it brings up a window that allows me to simply work with a certain type or I can install or I can add a repository. Since we're going to install the Java FX, let's click on add and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it, let's say EFX Clips, for instance. And then here's the location. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste the same location that I copied from the website. Click OK. And what this is going to do is going to fetch the FX install components. So here, notice if I expand both of these, I have several options. So for instance, I can install the Eclipse IDE and I can also choose different components or I can select all of these components that I need to install such as the converter, the CSS, DSL, FX graph, the FXML language, for instance, the G model feature and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and in fact select all of these components and click next. And this is going to go ahead and process and make sure all the dependencies are met before it finishes up the install. So once the dependencies have been installed, notice it gives me to review the items that need to be installed. So here are all the items that are selected earlier. Simply go ahead and click next. Accept the agreement by clicking on the radio button and click finish. And what this will do is install the Java FX within the Eclipse editor. So it's just a straightforward process. All you need to know is navigate to the website, make sure you add the repository, and then eventually install FX on the Eclipse editor. So once the installation is complete, it asks you to restart the Eclipse editor so that the changes can take effect. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes to restart. I'm just going to go ahead and simply open up the Eclipse editor after the Java FX application has been completed. Perfect. So in this lesson, I just wanted to demonstrate how to go about installing Java FX within Eclipse editor. So practice, hope this helps and let's move to the next lesson.